Okay, this is the uh, Ford Mustang collection. The reason I bought it is obviously the 71 through 73 Mach 1. Not a fan of the graphics on it, but I do like the cream colored interior. With the blues, all right. Like I said, it's basically the car I got in the garage. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah. So. Let me open this up. Oh, and it does have a prototype car, which is another thing I liked about it. I do not have a prototype Mustang. I think this is only only the second actual 5.0 body. Maybe the third. I have a Matchbox 5.0 body. I think I have one other hop. That is strange. Okay. So one at a time. This is the actual prototype of the Ford Mustang. The uh, concept car before they actually came out with the 64 and a half. So I'll be putting, picking the camera up, putting it closer. Everybody should remember these 5.0s. But not really that kind of a glossy paint on it. Uh, black interior, white. What's this, 2007? Yeah, and it's all right. I wish I had a better paint job on it, though, to be honest. This is the, the okay, this is my first newer style Mustang, literally convertible. 2018. Yeah, I like it. And the 70. I think 69 was a better year. This is Candy Apple Red, white stripe, black interior. These are actually kind of hard to find. The only time I notice them lately is when you get, you know, you buy them in the five packs and such. And no reason I bought the package. This is a baby blue. They're kind of a teal blue. So it'd be a 71 as a polyurethane buckets. I think this is like a 72. Actually. Okay, it says 71, but it's not. Because I actually own a 71. Ah, Hot Wheels is lying on this. This is funny because I own a 71. So you'll see the front there, the uh, turn signals are in the grill with a urethane bumper. And that is wrong because, let me show you, this is a 71, and the turn suitors are not in the grill. They are right there in that corner. Let's see if it focuses there. Below the bumper, at the fender. That's where they are. They are not in the grill, Hot Wheels. They're wrong. So even these companies can get this wrong. But very nice interior. I like it because it's like a saddle brown cream. Which a lot of those cars came back in. And the spoilers on incorrect. Because that curvature on the spoiler is facing the rear and it should be facing the front. And I see a lot of actual car guys. And the cars in real life putting them on wrong too. But I do like this prototype car here. Actually, for, I think this here is a good pack for five bucks. Actually. I don't even know if they got the 70 right. You know, if that's four headlights, that's a 69. That's funny. That is not a 69. They got a 69 grill with a 1970 body style. That's actually pretty sad, sad folks, and we're not even 50 years later, and these Hot Wheels can't even get these Ford cars right. Kind of disappointed in those little details. Actually, being an actual car guy and owning several of those Mustangs over the years, not good.
I, uh, that's just sad. I mean, they're billion dollar company. There's no reason to get something like that wrong. Very disappointing. <coughs> I think I actually have Johnny Lightning Mustangs from the uh, 90s when they made them. They were actually correct. They had the, the differences correct on them where these are just wrong, wrong, wrong. Good Hot Wheels are just not accurate to the actual vehicles. They've got a few things wrong with each of the models there. Boy, this camera does not want to focus. Look at it go in and out. All right, till next time.